she hit make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we... Boom, now! Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. Well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me old near pack of punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold her own. Kind of disappointed. All set. This'll get you home. One last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection staves busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, though. I will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or Raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To, uh, pay for the roof. And... He invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I, I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tyr? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir. So we gather your things.
And keep the change, you bastard! Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. The door didn't say anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the Giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the Giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? What happened here? So close to home. Are Raiders warring with one another now? Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Almost to the bridge. Oh, yes, the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. Whoa, that one's still alive. No, look closer. <sighs> Hell Raiders now? Who's doing this? I suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy is there to defend them. Oh, could have warned me. <laughs> Seriously, who'd be stringing up raiders like that? You see something down there? What was that? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. Ago. Wasn't me. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. Quiet. I hear something. No! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> well, some dead rather <laughs> <rather suspicious. laughs> <laughs> in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants. So he'd be on our side if we find him. 
And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. Imagine what the lads found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep moving. Too late. Father, use your plate. Turn them. Isn't it nice how Fimble Winter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish, as if on cue. <laughs> <laughs> gotten rather good at that. <sighs> Yet another grizzly scene.
I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one morning. Oh! Brother! the raiders torn out and barging in, and now stalkers praying in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Mom gave you. Thor damaged it. But now. Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on. We can get in this way. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. <laughs> Something give over on the right. There we go. Come on. Watching?
Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free. Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do? We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Oh, that's right. How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Here since Vardal finds somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home.
This way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tia, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. Hmm? What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. <laughs> Offer. To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. And he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfine, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But... If we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. <clears throat> Kratos! Over here! Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown! <laughs> uh, oh, well, yeah. Well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms, and I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimba Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need... Is your help getting to Svartalfheim so we can try and rescue Tyr? To Tyr? 
Alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? When the hell is he anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivanting. Do you know this? Mmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. Kid's gonna insist on getting taller. Best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Looks like Fimble Winner's been hard on her. Give her here. She's overdue for some broccoli. Found some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Thank you. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He is imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Ooh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. 
Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop in. All right, see you out there, Sindri. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So I... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a sodding bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release! Still no unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Russell got eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just, just oh, there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Get to us. Throw me at him. Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take the joke, you old goat? <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on. Let me show you how it works. Okay. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right. Then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh, Careful, uh, lad. Why are these things so bad? I see we're already off to a lively start. Atreus, you dropped your guard. 
I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. <clears throat> if you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like... Did you just say, woman, go out the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Uh, did you see that over there? channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. It's like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <sighs> Dirty enough to climb? Ah! Hey, good old dwarven craftsmanship. Huh? Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Nisa! Uh. 
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! You don't mind some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartelfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartelfarm? Hi, lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. <laughs> These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge? Father, uh, up there.
They cap those geysers? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. everywhere. Okay, we froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Ingenuity for you. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Just, I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavalir. See what it draw. Up, uh, father, up there. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. It's clinging to the wall! You gotta knock it down! 
Think you can uncover that geyser from here? I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. <laughs> Block's coming down. Something else we can hit? Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Nice one. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Try hitting the rope holding the block. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> If I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Hmm. Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Atreus. Look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. And only 
wouldn't sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. How's that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Can we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. Oh. I've got them! <clears throat> Appreciate it. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action. Ah. Uh. Take aim at that gate there, but before you loose, say, Skialfa. 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 Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlers in need of here. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched the hole through seems promising, though. For you. It's usually to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. <laughs> So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. 
Why, how? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. <laughs> be an artifact from the Dwarven system. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Dolan's Rebellion. Quite a sharp witch to add and he'll be turned to very subtle means. Brock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Kidding about the structural sensitivity. Excuse me, but we're looking for a At your service. What can I make for you? Till we meet again! Over there. Sorry to bother if you're you. If you're selling something, please bugger off. If you're not selling something, uh, please kindly bugger off.
This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree, and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Good point, though. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask? Head! Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Darlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following you. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwent.
There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. So, we're going to Durland's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking to the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think.
Hey, this isn't a fun. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him, but it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, it's here. Dylan helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. <laughs> 